Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Sheen Supreme Lipsticks from the Moody Blooms Collection from MAC Cosmetics. Now, um, I am unfamiliar about the Sheen Supreme Lipsticks. These are the first ones I've ever tried from MAC. I know that they've been released before. I just felt no desire to try them because I had seen Tim Talia's swatches. She's a beauty blogger. She has a lot of information if you want to check her out. I had seen a lot of swatches from her and she always showed these as very streaky very underpigmented and then I read somewhere that um, her swatches they didn't people didn't understand why her swatches were so unpigmented so I was like you know what I'm gonna take the dive and I'm gonna try this so I picked up three shades I have um, lust extract moody bloom and phenomenal for fern, like pheromones phenomenal so I have three. They come in very shiny tubes. They're a little bit different than the regular MAC packaging. They kind of remind me of the Pro Longwear lip, um, lip products from MAC that are in similar tubes, but they're a little bit more matte. Um, I have, I'm going to swatch these up for you in about two seconds. I just want to make some notes about the formula. These lipsticks are not like regular MAC lipsticks. They're not as hard. They don't have the same shape. I had a severe problem applying these. They were slipping and sliding all over my mouth, and they gave me like some weird layer of product right here and around. Um, you definitely would want to use a liner with these, otherwise, um, unless you have bigger lips, because I find that if, if I would have had bigger lips, this would have been easier. I had a problem, like, the actual tip was just too big, and I couldn't I couldn't get the precision I wanted. I felt like it was really hard for me to apply these, the weird layer, like I said, of, of product. It was just, it was kind of like a nightmare to apply these. I was very disappointed. On a side note, they did not apply sheer, like Natalia said. They had decent pigmentation. Um, they definitely were, like, you can build them up. They definitely weren't like a matte lipstick. They had the classic vanilla scent. They do not last long at all. I got maybe like two hours of wear. So these are really, really similar to a gloss. Um, really not my type of product. I'm more of a matte girl. I mean, they're very hydrating. They're soft on the lips. But they're really slick. You constantly, like, I'm like, I felt like my lips were going everywhere. I'm just the kind of person that wants something that's matte. It's not going where anywhere. And it's just... I don't want anything like this. So for me, this is a no-go. For you, it might be, you know, worth it. So the first shade I'm going to show you guys is Phenomenal. You can even see my little lip marks in it. And it nicked itself. I don't even know how it did that. But you can see it's so fragile. Like, the little lines in my lips made lines in it. So this is Phenomenal. Now, there it looks like it's a little sheer. I'm going to do a live demonstration of this shade. You see, I just, I feel like I don't, I can't, like, here it's all. So as you can see, decently pigmented, I was just, for me, it was just not a pleasant experience. I didn't like the way it applied. But very shiny, very nice, like a gloss. Then the next shade I want to show you guys is Moody Bloom. This one was actually my favorite. It's kind of like a golden shade. Really, really reminded me of the early 90s. Not early 90s, but late 90s. You could see, again, my lip lines making make it dense in this lipstick so two swipes for opacity on this one but really really a golden color would look great on deeper and medium skin tones but it looked nice on my, my skin tone as well um, and then the last one I'm going to show you guys is Lust Extract and this one is a nice purple color now this one kind of reminded me of one of the violet ones that is um, not limited edition and I didn't go through my collection to swatch up and compare but I can tell you that these two shades are not odd colors like you can definitely find them within the MAC permanent range um, unless you're looking for something with that glossy look that lightweight look you know very very smooth very moisturizing unless you're looking for those specific properties you could have totally passed on these and just went for the same exact shades in the permanent line and again I don't I don't have them off the top of my head I should be more prepared and I'm not so hopefully by the time I publish this video I will include it in the info section if not just ask me and I will go and I'll look because sometimes I forget Anyway guys, the first so shade is Phenomenal, Moody Blooms, and Lust Extract. And those are the three shades that I picked up, though there are other shades and they might still be available on the MAC.com website. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Did you guys pick up any of the Sheen Supreme lipsticks? How do you feel about their formula overall? Did you like how they applied? Did you like their pigmentation? Did you also feel the Temptalia? Um, 
gave them a little bit of a bad review that she made them like they were super super sheer let me know what you guys think i want to hear all your opinions i'm going to include picture swatches too thank you so much for watching and please follow me on instagram i'm recycled starbust